Bucks is wrestling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for taking the time out to really truly see yourself for who you truly are and what you're aiming towards. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, um, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'd love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you are seeing the videos or giving you good vibes or even good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath, please uh, share, especially if they, you know, they're having issues with, you know, or needing out a uh, bad dog. Confirmation and validation. Y'all, I don't know what this video doing to me, but it got me all discombobulated. <laughs> so anyways, my bad. You know, uh, just share. Give me a thumbs up. Like and also share on the social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support that you, you give me each and every day. It's truly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all have been getting a lot of downloads lately. Like, I can sit up here and be talking to somebody and it'll have me just blank out for a minute. And I'm like... Yeah, so if you catch me doing that, it's because I'm getting a download, because I was just now getting one. But anyways, uh, the um, meditation music that I'm listening to is called Kundalini Rising, 432 hertz music to balance male and female energy, healing music for meditation. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And I would love to wish everybody a happy Father's Day. You know, even if you can or cannot be with your children, it's truly appreciated. We appreciate you. I forgot today was Happy uh, Father's Day. And I'm just glad I'm in a good, you know, in a good vibe. Because, you know, it's just like the fact is my, my father's not here. So I just, you know, I told him earlier, you know, Happy Father's Day. And then, you know, he was like, thank you. But, you know, I say I appreciate everybody who's out there taking care of their children. It's greatly appreciated because I know there are some men that don't. So, um, thank you. Anyway, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's, uh, when it takes you many lifetimes to finally get what life is, uh, life that was trying to teach you, LOL, better late than never. I saw busting out laughing because I saw that post and she was like, Oh, I won't be doing that again. I'm going to use that as a thumbnail because I was busting out laughing. I said it takes us like billions and billions of years. And I don't know how many reincarnations we have to actually go through. <laughs> Just for us to basically know, the, you know, what you were brought on earth to do. What did you have to learn from the lessons that is, you know, brought to your attention? And it can be really crazy. Like, you'll have that aha moment. Like, God, dog, it took me like a thousand and some odd years and, you know, Three or four different, you know, reincarnations for me to finally get it. Like, damn, I'm slow. Like, <laughs> I really needed to learn that. You know, and my life has taught me so much. Um, even though there's times that, I, you know, I, y'all know, y'all see me at so many different sides. You know, if you've been with me for a while, you've seen me in different different frequencies there's times that people have seen me when i was pissed off when people have seen me hurt and upset and when people see me just sad and just overall being funny goofy or just feeling blessed all at the same time you know you you have to be able to you know with doing stuff like this you have to be able to allow people to see your vulnerable side for them to know you know not every day is going to be sunshine and roses just kicking through some daggone dandelions it ain't always like that made me feel like i'm on one of those daggone uh period commercials i said periods ain't like that and i don't know why the hell they be trying to sit up here and tell people that we be ready to throw something at somebody when those things go but i'm just so glad and blessed that I don't have those things anymore but only downside is with my spiritual awakening I tend to feel all those different things when my children go through it because they're like stair steppers when one finish the other one starts the other one starts the other one finish and I'm just like stay away from me because <laughs> I'm catching all y'all's attitudes and stuff like that so it's just like all these different things life has taught me so much and has had me elevate myself so much and I'm proud of myself because it's just like, God, dog, my slow behind done sit up here and took 
all these lifetimes to be able to have confidence in yourself believe in things you cannot see have faith in yourself as well as the universe forgive by all measures don't allow the things that people do to you you know pull you out of your character you know keep working on yourself know that you 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 know you're going to surpass the things that has been placed upon you you're going to learn the things that you have learned you're going to unlearn yourself especially if it's about something negative you know all these different things we had to go through and a recycle and a recycle you know and it's just like you know it's a blessing when i come across some people that are so spiritually connected to me and a lot of people i'm just now meeting and it's just like damn where do i know you from it's like our souls you know are you know reuniting with people that has been on our path so many times and it's just like it's a beautiful situation and you know when i truly sit back and see the things that i do and i'm not saying i'm the most powerful oracle or anything like that but it's just a blessing that god's gift and you know source gift even though it gets on my nerves at times you know, at first, like I told people, I was doomed. We we're all doomed from the womb. A lot of us when it came out, we had problems being birthed here. You either been a, you know, a preemie or you were breached or any of those things where you are having issues coming here. You already knew you're going to be worth something. If it was going to take you, you know, it, you weren't supposed to make it when you first came out. I had all those issues growing up. You know, I stayed in the hospital. I knocked on death's door before about a few times, even before the first year of my life. You know, so it was just a lot of things I can really, you know, just be grateful for, you know, being able to help people seeing, you know, like I tell people, I feel like I'm a, like an empath social worker, <laughs> you know, as soon as I connect with them, I can go in through the Rolodex of their past lives. And I'm like, oh, you did this and this and this and this and that. And I'm like, what the heck? How you? Wait a minute. <laughs> How you know these different things? Do you have some? I'm like, no, this is the gift that I have. You know, I had to be able to practice on it, though, because there was a lot of times I would second guess myself. Like, is this really happening? Am I really got to tell this person this and this and that? I'm like, oh, great. Yeah, you leave me to do that. You know, and people are like, wait a minute, I'm what? I'm like, yeah, well, you're this and you're that, and you did this in your last life. You did this in your last life, and these were the things that they placed upon you, and this is the reason why you're here, you know, and it's just like, you know, God blessed me with that chance to be able to tell people, you know, at times, you know, what their sole purpose is. It's, it's just weird because I never thought I can do that at a drop of a hat, you know, being a medium, be, uh, what is it, uh, clairvoyant, clairaudient, uh clarity whatever those different words are i can't even pronounce them it's just you special when you able to see things that not you know that that either happen or you can see things that's going towards the future and everything like that i was gifted with that i just can't pronounce the words but it's just the whole point on being able to help other people do these things because it's like there's times where you know close to that me and my dad's essence uh gets you know I, I remember being in the room with him being in the room with my mom um hearing them talking and discussing things hearing them argue or seeing the times that you know i was supposed to be here i remember the times i've died you know all these things either i was i think either i committed suicide one time and jumped off of a building building or somebody pushed me off a balcony you know there's different things like that you know it's like when you're growing up and there's a lot of things you might have a phobia of usually if you have a phobia of those things those are one of your you know your past lives kicking in because like oh shoot this happened to me many years ago and i had remember you know one time i remember witnessing my my dad die which he was my twin brother twice um, remember doing the Pharaoh thing, you know, we ruled, you know, parts of Egypt and all these crazy things. I'm just like, wow, because I always wonder why, you know, I used to buy Egyptian dresses or, you know, I used to talk to people that were from Egypt. They used to always bring me these trinkets and gifts back. And they were like, we were drawn to give these to you. You know, all these different things that came to my life, they start making sense now. And I was just like, God, dog, I guess so. If this is my 200th time doing it, you know, we should know about it you know, like the back of our hand by now, because there's a lot of things that we have done in our lives where it feels like we have done this before. You know, there's things that looks like deja vu or like, why do I remember? Why do I, why is this certain situation makes me know they already know how it's going to play out because you have done this before or your higher self, your higher, you're getting in touch with their higher self. So your higher self already know what the thing you're, you're heading towards. It is already, you know, the decisions you're already going to make. You know, it's just like when we, we're coming close to the things that we're working hard for, 
the higher there's times you get calm there might be a sense of calmness and there's other times where you get aggravated and you're just like oh i'm so ready for this to happen but that sense of calmness that comes in with the higher learning the higher learning higher self of you already knows how this is going to go the things you're working towards is already yours you're just manifesting them into your life right now because higher self god creator universe already knows everything that you're aiming towards is coming into your life you just have to be able to work for them you have to be able to believe in the universe believe you can be able to you know attract these things towards your life you've been manifesting them for so long and there's a lot of things that y'all see that y'all been manifesting and you know just like oh you see this and all of a sudden it echoes to you if you haven't got it yet you're starting to see a lot of the things that you have wanted like it could be a house like I tell people you, you know you've been wanting a house for so long you're trying to buy one you're saving up money you're taking up extra jobs you're doing little things you, you know you're trying to clear up your credit and all this stuff and all of a sudden you start seeing people doing house tours or you might see a, a commercial or maybe in a newspaper about some somebody selling a house this is already indications that these things are coming towards your way you're just working hard for me it makes you have a burst of excitement saying yes you know the universe is speaking to me in so many different ways so it's just like all these different things you've been doing in life it's like it might be intensified you know you try to wonder why i gotta go through all these things and why does it seem so hard because you're the last one of the generation you about to you about to break that curse baby <laughs> you about to break that curse so it's just like the next generation that is coming past you won't have to deal with all the hell that has been sent to place upon your life so you you know you're making things big things popping little things ain't stopping no <laughs> so you're going through all these different things in your life and it took you like many many millenniums to understand the things they've been trying to teach you for so long you know don't give yourself that time to talk about damn am i stupid or am i just playing slow you're not neither one it's just that you're so caught up in the things that you were doing you tend to forget about what you were sitting here for in the first place because i know it can be hard it can be frustrating trying to understand where do i fit in where do i do from now it's like okay now my spiritual way can happen now what you know what am i supposed to do i mean y'all showing me all these things but they're not making sense am i losing my mind am i going crazy nobody wants to talk to me other people are worried about me i'm worried about me <laughs> you know people be like ross i don't want to think i'm crazy when you go through that spiritual awakening it will make you think you're crazy your life will fall apart you know people will walk away from you people are like i don't know what's wrong with you but you need to go get checked out they start worried about you. you you know you end up losing your job you can't work a normal nine to five job like you used to because it's trying to you know gravitate towards the things that is going to involve your gift in so it's just like all these things you had to go about just to be able to know what you were sent to life to know <laughs> and i was looking at them busted out laughing because it's just like god dog you had to go through all this just to get to it but like i tell everybody it's all a process you got to go through it to get to it but it's just like when i look at my stuff it's supposed to help lead people towards peace and understanding in their lives knowing i can heal myself in so many different ways i just had to have that power and that confidence to be able to do it and knowing whatever i'm working towards is right around the corner and y'all probably hear that about yourself. Your blessings are right around the corner. And it's just like it can be right around the corner on the next state or it can be right around the corner on the next street. But you just have to keep working on you. Don't let, you know, negative BS, you know, distract you or you start focusing in on that because it's just going to, you know, prolong the things that you're heading towards. Not to tell myself that every day. Don't don't worry about what things are going on around you. You keep doing you try your best. You know, when you start worrying about things like how is this bill going to get paid, you just be amazed when we're working on ourselves and really trying to aim hard. You know, a lot of times things have to happen for us to go through, but there's a lot of times, you know, you have to go through it for a short period of time, but your ends are still being met. The universe is going to make sure you are okay. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Let me know if you do. Um, and you know uh like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line and um share give me a thumbs up and send out as much love like positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always some out there praying for you better days and i hope y'all enjoy your beautiful sunday i hope you know everybody getting there you know to eat on and stuff like that celebrating father's day somebody's treating you out to something nice and you know, send out as much love and light you possibly can. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.